Today, we set out on an intriguing time travel adventure to discover the enduring impact of Roman architecture. Let's explore the fascinating history and current significance of these magnificent monuments, which range from imposing arenas to recognizable aqueducts. The Colosseum, one of the most recognizable buildings from ancient Rome, is where we begin our tour. This magnificent amphitheater, which was constructed between 70 and 80 AD, was used as a location for gladiatorial fights, spectacles, and public events. It now stands as a testament to architectural creativity and draws millions of tourists each year. But now, instead of offering gruesome entertainment, it serves as a revered historical landmark and a location for exhibitions and cultural activities. It was intended for approximately 50,000 spectators, making the Colosseum the largest amphitheater in the Roman Empire. It was mostly utilized for gladiatorial fights, in which expert combatants participated in bloody combat to amuse the crowd. Other activities included fake naval battles, animal hunts, and dramatic performances. The Colosseum was cleverly constructed to hold these many spectacles. A complex network of trapdoors and lifts was installed in the main arena, also referred to as the arena floor, to facilitate spectacular entrances and unexpected appearances. The Hypogeum, a complex system of underground passageways beneath the arena, held animals, gladiators, and equipment, and served as a dramatic backdrop for the performances. The Colosseum's architectural skill is astounding. Due to its oval form, all onlookers were able to see the action without any obstructions. The Colosseum's four stories were divided by a series of arches, each of which was embellished with ornate statues and columns to show off the period's creative craftsmanship. Seats for the lower classes were located on the highest level, while seats for the aristocrats were located on the lower levels. The Colosseum has seen brilliance and decay throughout the ages. It was still in use as a theater for performances up to the 6th century, when earthquakes, looting, and natural deterioration caused it to fall into disrepair. However, its significance persisted, and it eventually came to represent the grandeur and architectural prowess of ancient Rome. The Colosseum was preserved thanks to restoration work done in the 18th and 19th centuries, which also made the world aware of its mesmerizing splendor. Millions of people visit it every year as a UNESCO World Heritage Monument and a lasting example of Roman engineering. The Colosseum's current use transcends that of its past uses. It draws travelers, historians, and lovers of architecture from all over the world as a potent representation of ancient Rome. The gladiatorial fights, Roman society, and the period's architectural advances are all covered in guided tours. The Colosseum has also evolved into a location for cultural activities like concerts, art exhibits, and even religious rituals, demonstrating the versatility of this extraordinary building in the contemporary day. And that is the Colosseum, a masterpiece of architecture that has held the attention of people around the world for centuries and watched innumerable shows. We are still awed by its majesty and historical significance today. The magnificent Pantheon is the next place on our list. This architectural wonder was built in the second century AD and used to worship the Roman gods. The oculus, an opening at the top, and the dome's flawless proportions produce an astounding interaction of light and space. The Pantheon still astounds tourists with its mechanical genius and functions as a working church, providing a place of spiritual solace. The Pantheon is a beautiful temple honoring the deities of ancient Rome that was constructed between 118 and 128 AD during the reign of Emperor Hadrian. Since Pan means all and Theos means gods, its name Pantheon emphasizes its inclusive nature. It is an experience unlike any other to enter the Pantheon. The building's enormous dome, which is still the biggest unreinforced concrete dome in the world, is its most prominent feature. Its design is a testament to the Romans' inventiveness, who successfully combined structural integrity and opulent aesthetics. The unusual dome construction uses concrete layers with progressively lower densities to minimize total weight while retaining structural integrity. Natural light pours into the interior of the dome through a huge circular hole at its summit known as the oculus, creating an ethereal and constantly shifting play of light and shadows. The Pantheon's architecture is a work of wonder in and of itself, the structure is designed like an ancient Greek temple, with Corinthian columns supporting the portico. The great entry leads to an enormous rotunda, whose circumference matches the height from the floor to the top of the dome, forming a perfect sphere inside a cylinder. 
The Pantheon's interior is embellished with priceless materials including marbles, vibrant stone veneers, and delicate stucco work. Its magnificence was formerly enhanced by statues of gods and emperors that were placed in the niches along the walls. The Pantheon still inspires awe and respect in people today. The Pantheon has held up amazingly well over the years, despite the passage of centuries. Its survival can be traced to its conversion into a Christian church in the 7th century, which was devoted to St. Mary and the martyrs. This reuse aided in preventing the building from being abandoned and looted, as happened to many other historic Roman structures. The Pantheon has served as a benchmark for superior architecture for many years and has impacted other buildings all across the world. Particularly, its dome has served as an inspiration to architects throughout history, including Michelangelo and Brunelleschi, who used comparable design aspects in their own creations. The Pantheon is still in use as a cathedral and is one of Rome's most well-liked tourist destinations today. People from all over the world travel there to take in the beauty of the architecture, enjoy the tranquil setting, and admire the workmanship of the ancient Romans. The Pantheon's lasting influence goes beyond its actual structure. It continues to motivate designers, engineers, and artists by serving as a constant reminder of the limitless potential of human ingenuity and creativity. Let's now explore the Roman Forum, a vast structure that housed the political, religious, and commercial hub of ancient Rome. Grand buildings like the Temple of Saturn, the Arch of Titus, and the Basilica of Maxentius bordered the Forum. These structures, which were once seats of authority and government, are now visited by tourists as historical sites because they shed light on Roman life and culture. The Roman Forum, where we are standing, used to be a hive of activity for political, religious, and commercial matters in ancient Rome. This vast edifice served as the center of the city for many years, marking the beginning and end of emperors, the passing of laws, and the formation of alliances. The Roman Forum was once a swampy valley between the Palatine and Capitoline Hills, but it underwent significant changes over time. Grand constructions were built in the Forum to reflect the majesty and authority of the Roman Empire as Rome expanded its power and influence. We come across impressive buildings that once shaped the political and cultural scene of ancient Rome as we go around the Roman Forum. With its enormous central hall and gigantic arches, the Basilica of Maxentius served as a hub for court cases and commercial operations. Rome's prosperity was symbolized by the Temple of Saturn, which was devoted to the god of agriculture and wealth. It served as a venue for open events and contained the city's treasury. The Arch of Titus, a triumphal arch honoring Emperor Titus's triumphs in the Jewish War, should also not be overlooked. Its complex reliefs showcased images of conquering and religious loot, giving insight into the Roman Empire's military prowess and cultural significance. The Temple of Vesta, a circular shrine honoring the deity of the hearth and home, is one of the Forum's prominent buildings. The Vestal Virgins, who were instrumental in preserving the city's spiritual and cultural integrity, looked after this holy place. Markets, stores, and public areas where Roman citizens congregated to conduct business, exchanged news, and take part in political conversations were located close to these magnificent structures. The Forum was more than simply a physical location. It was a representation of Roman society at the time and a symbol of its thriving civic life. The Roman Forum is still standing today, as an archaeological gem that offers an insight into the past. Visitors from all over the world come to experience the rich history that took place within these revered grounds, to marvel at the architectural wonders, and to tread in the footsteps of emperors. Next, we come across the brilliant Roman aqueducts. These engineering wonders, like the Aqua Claudia in Rome and the Pont du Gard in France, transported water over great distances to ensure a consistent supply for the expanding city. Their ruins still serve as a reminder of Roman water management ingenuity and continue to serve as an inspiration for contemporary infrastructure projects. Our first visit is in southern France's gorgeous countryside, where the magnificent Pont du Gard serves as a reminder of the Roman Empire's prowess in architecture. This three-tiered aqueduct, which was built in the first century AD, was an essential component of the Nîmes aqueduct system delivering water over a distance of 30 kilometers to provide the city with a dependable water source. The Garden River is crossed by the Pont du Gard, which displays the Romans' prowess in building imposing arches. Six large arches make up the lower tier, which allows the river to flow unhindered. Eleven arches are found on the second tier above, while 35 more are found in the top tier. 
These expertly crafted arches reveal the Romans' command of gravity and their ability to distribute water over a range of altitudes. In the timeless city of Rome, where the Aqua Claudia stands as a monument to Roman water management, our adventure continues. Emperor Claudius ordered the construction of this massive aqueduct between the years 38 and 52 AD in order to address the city's water difficulties and guarantee a steady water supply. The 69-kilometer-long Aqua Claudia carried water from springs close to the Anio River to the center of Rome. Its magnificent arches, which crossed over hills and valleys, demonstrated the Romans' inventive use of both concrete and stone building. With the help of the Aqua Claudia's inventive engineering, a gradual slope could be maintained, assuring a steady supply of water to the city. Despite the passage of time, the Aqua Claudia and the Pont de Gard both continue to leave a lasting impression on history. They demonstrate the dedication of the Romans to infrastructure, innovation, and the quest of greatness. These aqueducts created an enduring architectural heritage that still serves as inspiration for engineers and architects today, in addition to supplying a dependable water supply. Finally, the Roman villa takes us into the domain of private homes. These lavish homes served as a display of the wealthy Roman class's riches and prestige. They had rooms with magnificent frescoes, mosaic floors, and central courtyards. The arrangement and design of opulent residences and estates are examples of how Roman villa design has continued to influence modern architecture, even if the idea of a villa has changed over time. There you have it, a fascinating tour of the old Roman structures that still influence modern design. These extraordinary buildings, which include the Colosseum, the Pantheon, the Roman Forum, the Aqueducts, and the luxurious villas, stand as enduring memories of Rome's magnificence and inventiveness. I appreciate you joining me on this fascinating journey through Roman architecture. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below with your choice of Roman structure that continues to impact modern design. Keep discovering the intriguing world of architectural marvels. Until next time, bye!